Okay, oh. Wongi. Yeah, stop arguing. It's time for you to get some kick. Get in there. Lads, lads. Huh? Look, the viewers are still here. <laughs> oh, yes, hello. What are you still doing here? This show finished ages ago. We're packing away all the props. <laughs> yeah, shouldn't you be down the shopping centre bugging some security guards? That's where we're going after this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. darn right. <laughs> oh, but you know what? There's so many memories in all these props oh, and everything. So, so many memories in the whole studio, Catherine. You know, I mean, I, I, I can still hear the sound of small children cheering, just echoing around the walls. And we're in the meeting over here. Uh, oh. <clears throat> Sorry. That's better. SMTV has been a bit... It's been a bit of a typhoon, really, hasn't it? Yes. Yes, it has. How? Well, a typhoon starts off as a breath of fresh air. Next thing, there's utter crazy turmoil before it does off with your house and your car. No, Dick, that's a woman. Oi. Yeah, that's true, yeah, yeah. Well, SMTV's been more like a roller coaster ride, then. How? Cos your fortune makes you sick. Right, OK, SMTV has oh, been a bit... Oh, for goodness sake, like... you idiot. SMTV has been like this. Ooh. Ooh. You spooky witch. I know, it's good, isn't it? It's good, yeah. If we follow this route, we'll avoid the asteroids here... <laughs> Steve, what are you going to do? Are you going to tranquilise him? Are you going to shoot him? You know, no, Mike, the best way to deal with a gorilla is to confuse him. Watch this, Mike. Pick a card. <laughs> Pick a card there, Mike. Now, don't show to me, Mike. Keep it there, Mike. I don't want to see the card. And I'll show you who the card is. The Eyes of Spide. Woo! I was so hot and sweaty, I had to strip to my waist. Yes, my wall paint was literally running off me. There was men attacking me from all sides. At one point, I had to fight them off with my bare hands. Oh. And where is this club, do you say? Soho. Oh. Ali McCoy's full fill in the box. Hello and welcome to Match of the Table with me, Mr. Lovely, Gary Lineker. Potato peelings and stale bread, but I'm winning. <laughs> they haven't even looked in here, the stupid little idiots. Wait until they find us, the looks on their faces. <laughs> the picture. <laughs> Could you stick your chin up? A little bit more, a little bit more, a bit more. <laughs> oh, I've seen better movement in my bowel. <laughs> Really impressive. Well, I know. Yeah, yeah, you know, with a gift like that, you could spread fear across the universe and crush all those who oppose you with a fist of iron. I know. How great is that? And I can fit a whole wagon wheel in my mouth. <laughs> That's not so impressive, though, I'm afraid. Hi, I also. 
wouldn't it be absolutely wicked if someone had spent hours and hours and hours putting the best bits of us on TV on the tape? Well, that would be amazing. It would be double mega. No, that would be triple mega. No, it would be quadruple mega April. I know. So, Flea, everyone, get on with it! Do that wagon wheel thing, huh? OK. That's rubbish. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, live from the London studios, the television event of the week, SMTV Live! Deck, uh, your dudes coming at you in the studio with the tsunami and all that. And I'm Kat Bailey, I am honest, look. Oh, brilliant, my SMTV chums. What a show we've got for you today. We'll be getting a chef to make a load of food that we're never going to eat, and like you lot at home, we're going to keep our fingers crossed that that weather bloke falls into the water. That's it. Yeah. And I'll be talking in a frank, open, deeply <laughs> sympathetic way about women's problems. <laughs> Attention, man, as the two pop mega stars stuck each other in true scoreboard fashion. Threat to be made for some weeks now from both men. Robbie claims he's strong and Liam won't be old before he dies. Liam says he'll live forever and it's Robbie who'll be seeing Angel soon. Oh, and this time for the showing. This is serious stuff. Robbie's made the first real move and got Liam in a nose hold. But what's this? Liam's coming back with a Chinese bar. This is very disappointing. The fight is over just as it gets good because the two big sissies are crying like girls. <laughs> So, Captain Justice, welcome back to the show. I suppose you've been orbiting the universe, have you? Saving damsels in distress over the past week? No, uh, that's not my kind of thing, really. Right, moving on. Uh, who's going to... I've come to work in my pyjamas again, haven't I? I hope that answers your question there. Do you need a lift anywhere after the show? No, no, I don't. I'm fine, actually. Well, any time, you know, any time. I've always got room on the, uh, on the back. <laughs> I've got you this. <laughs> Sorry, misread the signs. Goodbye! Captain Justice always disappears with a puff. Name the Spice Girls three Christmas number ones. Oh, um, to become one. Um, too much. Yep. And... Yeah. Wide open. <laughs> Anthony, it's us who cannot see. <laughs> what will it take to make the world think? What will it take to make and blink? <laughs> Only love will see you through. Repeated towel flicks. 
Title mean to you, Victoria? Uh, I think it will change my life immensely. Mm -hmm. I'll probably get followed by photographers everywhere mm -hmm. I go, hassled by journalists, mm -hmm. and I'll probably marry a very sexy footballer. Oh, <laughs> so, um, um, Victoria, have you got your eye on anyone in particular? Oh yes, he's very sexy and very dynamic. <laughs> really? So, 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 which footballer is it, Victoria? Peter Beadsley. <laughs> <laughs> The champion Pokemon Master. Super fit, supersonic, and soups about the only thing I can eat these days. I know what you mean. <laughs> Goes right through me yes, like yes. a dose of salt. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it, is. it is. Come on then, if you think you're hard enough. You're going home in an ambulance. I know I am. I'm 97 years old. I go everywhere in an ambulance. <laughs> Get out of my super duper market. Get out of my pocket shop and channel studio. Get out of my pocket shop. No! Jumpers in the poker rap, and your stupid buzz, 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 and your wasp for eyes, and your business Pokemon ventures, and the camera that hits me in the head. This is the last of it. The last one. Finish. Kaput. We hate them. I hate them, and we hate you. That's right. We hate you, Declan. We face our final poker curtain. He's just excited, that's all. <laughs> go on, you know you love it when we get... Go on, get on. Right, then, what are you feeling this week, cheerleaders? <laughs> then why don't we just hit it? Come on! I've made a sudden recovery, haven't I? Pity. Cat chat. Chat to a cat. 0898. Yeah. Yes, yes, I've, I've been such a naughty little kitty today. Yes, because I, I scratched the legs on my master's settee and then I went to the toilet in that flower bed. I couldn't believe it. What kind of sad weirdo brings a cat chat like? Yes. This is absolutely oh, ludicrous. Oh, 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 you are a naughty little kitty, aren't you? <laughs> Word. Snog. Kiss. Uh, kiss. Kiss. I Mwah. want to kiss. kiss. <laughs> Fifth word. Fifth word. <laughs> Press. Ooh. Press. Ooh. Song. Song. Ooh. Song. Ooh. Him. I want to kiss him. <laughs> is, is that a book or a film? Oh, does that have to be a book or a film? <laughs> <laughs> of Spice Girl merchandise. Okay. And what you've got to do is you've got to guess the correct price. Spice up your nails with this complete Spice Girls nail salon. The Spice Girls nail trays are must for any young shapers want to be and comes with a fantastic array of four high fashion shades of nail polish. Blue, red, pink and a perfect kind of one. With this complete kit, you look like you've just stepped out of a nail salon and have beautiful nails that'll be there forever. But only if the spice is right. Well, who invented a telephone? Alexander Graham Bell. He invented two telephones! What would be the point of inventing one telephone? You can't exactly talk to yourself, can you, Brian? 
Brian McFadden, you have the weakest brain. Goodbye. 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 Ten seconds, what's that? Is it a cow? Or a thing? <laughs> what did you say, cow? Yeah. And did you say, what was the other thing you said? Um, a, a spider. You are the biggest <laughs> thing, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Marry V, um, flea V, hippie V, oh. 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 Really? You At least close. you identified it wasn't a cow. Reasonly. <laughs> <laughs> Back off the phone. Oh. Back off the phone. Bunny V. Who is that in the background? Who is it in the background? No. Who was Mom? it? Mum. Mum? Your mum's rubbish as well! <laughs> what was she coming up with, Brazen B? Oh. Do you not understand, woman? <laughs> oh, Ducky! Are you there? Ducky? Well, is he in the farmhouse or hiding in a ditch? For goodness sake, Ducky, tell me which. Of course I'm here. I'm always here, aren't I? Stupid farmer. You'll find yourself in the ditch if you don't come up with a better rhyme next week. Uh, yes, yes, Ducky. Excuse me, just a moment. Uh, whoop! <laughs> <laughs> That's better! <laughs> Apologies for the, for the sound you're hearing in the studio today, there, viewers. You see, it's entirely my fault because I came to the studio with my new pumps. <laughs> oh, uh, shoes, shoes. I mean shoes. In fact, in fact, I'll take them off. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a very happy Harvest Festival to all. <laughs> we plough the fields and scatter our clothes across the floor. Yes! Goddess of good nature, Queen of Jolly Jake. Hey! Oh. Just keep your hands off the designer jacket, pal, OK? <laughs> oh, yes! The lads have arrived! All right there, lads. Did you, uh, did you get here all right, did you? Oh, all right, you see some good-looking girls outside. We told you this was our flat. Uh, that'll be the girls from number six. They're lovely, they are. <laughs> what, what's that, Sydney? Yeah, I would as well. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, Caroline, Quentin, in the flat. <laughs> I feel as though... I feel as though I'm going to kiss her. Make your tongue a deep-throat diver. <laughs> Let's touch teeth and swap saliva. You know... Everybody needs chums. Everybody needs love. Whether it's the topsy-turvy romance between a man and a woman, like Deck and Cat, or just an unnatural love between a man and his secret lady's shoe collection, everybody deserves the love in their lives. Because, you know, we're all on the planet together. Let's make the most of it. And who knows, we may even start liking each other, be good to each other, and never forget that precious four-letter word, Greyhound. Jerry! Oh, Jerry! Jerry! Sorry, love. Love, 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 love. love. Sorry, love. Till, uh, till next time, take care of yourself <laughs> and each other. So quick as a flash, I turned round to Kenny. Kenny Brenner. Kenny Brenner, and I said, Kenny, love, if I wanted a ham sandwich, I'd put you betwixt two slices of bread. Oh, bravo, oh, bravo. The three Ds. Drill, drill, drill. There wasn't a dry seat in Madame Jojo's. Mm. <gasps> oh, hello there. Allow us to introduce ourselves. I am Sir Ralph Ralphington, actor extraordinaire. Yes, and I am Sir Lawrence Oil of Yule, a treader of the board, which you probably know us better as... Hatty, hatty, hatty! And I play the noble and heroic. Decky, decky, decky! Hallo, hallo, hallo! Ah, yes, the garden goblins are finest are. I was first asked to play Auntie the Garden Goblin when I was a rep for Guinness. Sir Alec? No, just Guinness. 
I was uh, between jobs with promotional work. It was oh, a great opportunity. Yeah. I jumped at the chance to bring another dimension to the Garden Goblin. And you did, love. And you did. Thank you. For was it not Shakespeare himself who said, Dizzy water, dizzy water, dizzy water. N no, love, that was you. Act one, scene one, the goblins read Craig Fairbrass and Melanie B. Oh, do you know? You're right. Mm. A dashed fine performance that was. Sh shall, shall we take a little look, see? Yes, why not? Play on, noble VT man. Play on. Oh, triumphant. Triumphant. Thank you. <laughs> Here's the garden where Auntie and Decky, the garden goblins, live. Shall we say hello to them, boys and girls? Shall we? Hello, Auntie. Hello, hello, hello! And now Decky. Hello, Decky. Craigie, Craigie, Craigie! Oh, my! It looks like Decky has been replaced by a bigger, prettier and all-round sexier goblin. Well, hello, Craigie. What's a nice goblin like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> so, um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Ladies man, ladies man, ladies man. <laughs> I see. Well, uh, I finish work at 12.30. Perhaps you and I could go for a, a spot of lunch after the show and get to know each other a bit better. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me! Shut up, Auntie. Deck is gone, so just deal with it. So, Craigie. Oh, no, here comes trouble. Plums, 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 Some want some want some. <laughs> now, boys, no fighting. Look, Decky, it's like this. I'm replacing you because the garden needs a fresher, sexier image. We need a worthy role model to the kids at home. In role model, in role model, in role model. Oh, yes, he's been drinking the old dizzy water, dizzy water, dizzy water. <laughs> Yes, Dizzy Water is very naughty indeed. Mm. Pack your bags, Decky. It's time to go. Oh. Don't pack my knife, don't pack my knife, don't pack my knife. <laughs> Complain, complain, complain! Stop whinging, Auntie. He was only playing. Isn't that right, Craigie? Oh, shut your gob, shut your gob, <laughs> shut your gob! <laughs> Auntie, are you going to let him talk to me like that? Complain, complain, complain! Stop whinging, whinging, whinging! Oh, what have I done? I should never have let nasty Craigie into the garden. Oh, here's Prozac, the giggle fairy. She'll know what to do. Ladies, man, ladies, man, ladies, man. Are you okay, giggle fairy? Did that naughty Craigie snap your wand? Slap me plum, slap me plum, slap me plum! <laughs> yes, he did. I've been so silly. If only Decky were here, he'd know what to do. I do miss him. <laughs> oh, my! Look, Decky's back! And I think he's going to challenge Craigie to a shootout. <laughs> you card, you card, you card. <laughs> jewel, jewel, jewel. <laughs> Shows he 
weapon, choosy weapon, choosy weapon. <laughs> My goodness, Craig's got an enormous weapon. Oh dear, Auntie, what do you think Decky's chances are? Bye bye, Decky, bye bye, Decky, bye bye. Craigie's girlfriend, Mel, is going to start the proceedings. Gentlemen, stand back to back. Take three paces. And the duel will begin! One, two, three, three. Hello! <laughs> no, Decky. Do it properly. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Take three steps forward, then turn and begin. Watchy, twosy, freezy, fuzzy, fuzzy, sexy, 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 Oh, well, this could take a very long time, children. We're all going to bed now, but we'll see you next week for Decky's funeral. Until then, bye-bye. And welcome to a new quiz centering around the world of pop, imaginatively titled Pop Quiz. <laughs> it's my idea. <laughs> I wanted to call it Lord Archibald Flapjack, but we decided that that would be stupid. Okay, round one is sounds a pound. For every sound you correctly identify, you get a pound. Can we have the first sound, please? <laughs> Cat. Weetus and a little respect. <gasps> <gasps> Wrong, I can offer it. it... Is it orange aid? It absolutely is a pound of one. Yes! Brutus. <laughs> <laughs> Dear me. OK, uh, mm. next sound, please. Uh, Cat. Is it five and moving on up? <gasps> I can offer it. Coca-Cola. Is that the right in the pound yes. Are you sure you realise what we're talking about here when we say pop quiz? Uh, pop, pop quiz. Pop quiz. All oh, right. Uh, yeah, no, I understand now. Go on, go on, go on. I'll be good at the next one. Go on. OK. Next sound, please. Uh, oh, cat! Daniel Allen Burdick! <gasps> I can offer it. Westlife fly without wigs. Another pound of wigs! Yeah! Oh, Daniel Allen Burdick. What a fool! What a fool! Here, here's one for you folks at home. Name this and song. Go! Hiya, Paul! <laughs> Hiya! <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm going to be Barry. <laughs> and uh, there's one member of the Bee Gees that... <laughs> one member of the Bee Gees that isn't here, and that's... Martin! <laughs> oh, here we go. This is for a This is for a uh, Aberdeen. This is for you, the Bee Gees. <laughs> <laughs> the Bee Gees meet Eminem. Why don't we just... On a Saturday and wanna see top class entertainment I keep for your eyes. What kind new surprise? If you wanna keep your cool, then don't you miss it. Be a fool, never, ever, ever diss it. SMTV rocks and beats them all. It's even better than your super duper master boy. Stand up the beach. Thank <laughs> you. 
is something that everyone wants to achieve and now you can with the SMTV workout video get fit to the sounds of all your Saturday favorites like hey Mr. Postman once upon a time Lardy Chumster Zant and Deck decided to fight the flab now they're super fit and dead sexy to lasses says you can dance the pounds away too. These exercises have been specially devised to tone and condition your whole body. Or the remaining three quarters, hey wonky. As well as improving your figure, you'll start to have more energy. is just one of the thousands of pop stars who enjoys a fitter, healthier lifestyle thanks to the SMTV's workout video. I'm twice the woman I used to be, but only half the weight. And there's a special DVD bonus track for those of you who want pert butts and perfect vision. Point along to this catchy little number from Challenge Ant. You're thick, you're thick, you're thick, you're thick, you are, you're thick, you're thick. This amazing video is available at just $12.99, which means we can guarantee you lose nearly £13 the very second you buy it. The SMTV workout video is not available anywhere. You know where it's fat. It says, Dear Aunt, the other day I was sorting through my dad's stuff and I found a song by Morris Albert. Uh, but look again. <laughs> is it Deck? <laughs> well, I'll leave that up to you because uh, Morris Albert is a, is a singer songwriter. I think it should be. And he pronounced... wrote the song. He wrote the song. Feeling. Oh, Morris Albert. Albert. Morris Albert. And uh, <laughs> she reckons it looks like Deck, and I have to say, I reckon too. <laughs> Deck hasn't seen this. What do you think, everybody? <laughs> Sorry, did you not catch her? Tilt Get it, it again. <laughs> Get it again! <laughs> well, uh, welcome to SMTV Live and all that. Yes. So, I think he, surely. He's a bunny looking lad, <laughs> isn't he? <that? laughs> That's going to be you and on the back, look, On the back, we've got the, uh, we've got the sheet music for the song that he penned. Feelings. <laughs> so what we thought was um, we'd have a little bit of a song here and uh, I'd put it out. What do you reckon if, if Deck was to sing Feelings? No, well, I, I don't hi, like... Hi, deck five. Stop it. I wouldn't like to call that. Just, just a song in post bag. OK? I get you. And what I thought was you could do it in the style of Morris Albert. Morris Albert. Uh, uh, Albert. Show me him again. Do you want to have another look? Again. Yeah. Get the mood. <laughs> <laughs> what, is that good? It's the teeth and all that, isn't it? What do you think? Is that good, everybody? Is that good? Yeah. Go on, Go and get ready. Right. We'll give, us nice a big, give us a big build-up. We give will. Build up. That's wicked, that. Oh. Well, I'll just put him there so you think it's still the three of us while Kat's doing it's, the dressing. It's so him when he's 40, isn't it? Totally. <laughs> he's ready. I can hear the one, too. Um, oh, I'm, looking for, I'm looking forward to this. Aren't you, Deck? I am. I am, then. <laughs> there he is. Here's Deck singing Feelings. Declan Donnelly, everybody. <laughs> Feeling. <laughs> Nothing, Nothing but that feeling. feeling. Oh. Trying, Trying to forget. To forget. <laughs> feeling. Feelings of love. <laughs> Teardrops. To forget my feelings, feelings of love. Oh, feelings. <laughs> it's such a sad song. Yeah. How did you write something like this, Morris? <laughs> you are so gorgeous. It's all right. You can, you can stop now. I know you're getting a little bit of more. No, I know. No, it's a tangent. Aunt. Ewig. Right. Toupee. 
Oh, bill. As in, to pay a bill. Ah, I like it. Very crafty, but I like it. I'm a policeman. Criminal! No, I can't think of one. Yes! Oh, can I play? Can I play? I'm great at word association. Come on, please. Right. <laughs> OK, cat. OK, OK, great. I love games. Cat. What? What? I know you started without you, idiot. Now you say word associated with cat. All right, OK. Um, what was the word again? Cat! What? Cat! What? Hey, oh. flipping dog or something. It's obvious cat, dog. Birmingham! What? what? Well, that's where Cat the Dog comes from, doesn't she? She comes from Birmingham. Here's some Cat the Dog. Now, speaking of which, a new girl stars here today. She's from a very poor country called Birmingham. Where? <laughs> Birmingham! Oh. Where? Birmingham! Where? <laughs> Birmingham! Take a look at the scariest Halloween gimmick that ever was. Cat the Dog! <laughs> Because I have gazed upon the horror that is the dealies. <laughs> yeah, there's two of them. There's Cat the Dog Junior and Cat the Dog Mother. There must be a hive of them somewhere. Somebody calls Sigourney Weaver to destroy the evil Cat Dog aliens. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mrs. Donnelly. Don't you... worry about it. I'm quite enjoying myself, actually. <laughs> you need to talk to yourself a little bit like that. <laughs> you know what you need, Claire? It's a little weird and cool when we twice. You need some. Uh... Sexy gutty little girl. <laughs> Run the dog! It's a mini cat the dog! It's Run the dog! Run the dog from Birmingham! Are you awake? Did you have did you have a nightmare? Dream about yourself, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bust you out of here. <gasps> tie this piece of string, right, round yeah. your gammy tooth, right, and I'll tie the other end to the wall door, you see? Right, put this on here, eh? and then I'll slam the wall door shut, yeah. and that'll rip out your tooth, and then you come, come back home with me. Not that I've been missing you or nothing, not like that, right? <laughs> but there, you won't hurt, will it? Only if I slam my finger from the door. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not even all your back you think would do that for the door. I, I thought we'd start you off on the tills, Cat. Okay. It's very hard work, so can you hold up a packet of peas and shout, Price check, Sandra! <laughs> <clears throat> Price check, Sandra! <laughs> and if you wanted to, you could kiss. <laughs> then you would have to die! <laughs> Man! <laughs> me, me and Cat the dog, all alone in the flat. I feel as though I have... I feel as though I've got to... Kiss me! Throw up, actually. So, there? Mm -hmm. Do you smell nice? <laughs> Jeff? I've just had a poo. <laughs> right, pay attention, you lot. We need your help in tracking down this filly. Apparently, she's operating under the name of Louise. So, if you've been operated on by this woman, then, um, ring a number. She shouldn't be hard to find. She's a... Right, fit less, isn't that right, number two? Woof, woof, sausages, yes. If you like that sort of thing, women, I mean. Sir, 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 message from the viewers. Apparently, Louise has been spotted in the further adventures of Cat the Dog. It's all here on this tape. Shall I play it? Yes, please, signal person dearly, and jolly good work. Thank you, sir, sir. Dashed fine figure of man, that signal person dearly. Mm, and a man with a dashed fine figure, too. Mm. Oh, uh, I think you'd better play the VT. Oh. Dear Diary, how am ya? These are the continuing adventures of Catherine Noddy Slade Dooley, the early years. 
Today, me and my bestest ever ever friend Louise took our first steps into the world of womanhood and went shopping on our own without our mums! <laughs> yes, we were excited and yes, we were afraid. But by the end of our excursion into the shopping mall realm of neon lights, small discounts and long queues, Louise and I emerged. Women. Did you two come from? <laughs> well, Mr. Man, I'm from Birmingham. Where? Birmingham! No, I mean, you've obviously, you know, escaped from somewhere, haven't you? <laughs> well, you, you know, in a way, yes. We have escaped from the adolescent confines of youth and now roam free in the free world grown-ups with youth-orientated products. That's what we do. <laughs> but I tell you what, we'll see you down the youth club a bit later. OK. Bye. Ah! <laughs> 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 Where is he? Did you see him? Did you see him? Cat! It was you! You set the alarms off! Huh? Is there a problem? Problem or what? <gasps> I mean, if they're too big, let them go, because I ain't getting paid enough. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Hey, it's lovely, isn't he? <laughs> Sorry, sorry, yeah, it's these two girls here, actually. <laughs> oh, well, time to get tough, oh, then. No, no, wait, she just forgot to pay for something. Oh, well, in, uh, in that case, I've got to, got to be off because I've got some five-year-olds to menace, you know what I mean? If, of course, they're small enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that. It's just that uh, my mum only buys all my clothes for me. Yes, well, um, shouldn't you try them on first? <laughs> Yes, OK. <gasps> no, Cat, no! <laughs> what? No! What? Women get changed in changing rooms. I mean, your kids show their pants in public. <gasps> <laughs> changing room. <gasps> oh, <laughs> how decadent. <gasps> I feel as I've metamorphosized from my childhood cocoon and I'm now turning into a beautiful lady butterfly of the world. <laughs> oh, come on. Sex on. Are you, you ready? 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 How do we look? Man bite. <laughs> Please, please. Well, don't bother wrapping them. We're just going to wear them now. Oh, well, lock up your son. Cinderella's <laughs> sisters are in town. It doesn't really long in a fairy tale, Lou. Oh, oh, hang on a second. Hold on a moment. <laughs> just one little <gasps> debit my account, please. That's impressive, Cat. You've got past. Oh. Oh. Well, hardly. We don't accept library cards. <laughs> so there you have it. How I became an established shopper and a woman in one day. Those guys were OK, 
But the relationships were not destined to last. On the way out, they got a calls on the radio so that a toddler was whittling in the lift. <laughs> so they had to go with their riot gear on. Oh, me and Lou just went home. Next time, I must remember to take me one pound a week pocket money. Then it'll be spend, spend, spend! <gasps> That's all, diary. Gotta go now. Oh, forgot. Measured myself again today. Oh, I wish you would hurry up. Ladies and gentlemen, please don your sunglasses now as overexposure to this much beauty may damage your eyes. Here they are, the incredibly, edibly beautiful, beautiful cores! This is a beautiful song for some very beautiful people. We think you know who they are. That's right, it's us. <laughs> Imagine if, Kat, just like in Chums, if our playful, innocent fun fighting suddenly just stopped. What, you mean just like this? Yeah, just, just like this. And then we kind of suddenly looked longingly into each other's eyes. And then we moved in to kiss each other and it's as though the floodgates of pent-up emotion have finally dissolved and all our feelings and the desires are let out. Resulting in a tumultuous kiss and the flames of love are fanned only by our beaten hearts. Well, that's not gonna happen, is it? I mean, only silly and probable things like that happen in chums. I don't know, used <laughs> to. I've been watching too much telly. Ha! Right, I'll get his face, you get his heart, liver, lungs and family jewels. Good idea. <laughs> ah! God! Ow! Ah! 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 Chums is sponsored by Roll Mop Herrings. Roll on deodorant. The deodorant of the stars. Mmm, <laughs> fishy. <laughs> so, what's 
trying to kill you, then? Yeah, but don't worry too much about it. She tries to kill me about once a month. Oh, right. Like when she eats loads of chocolate and cries a lot. Yeah, it's all around that same kind of time. Ah, uh, I see. So what happened to Christian from Baby Mac? Well, he couldn't make it down to the studio this week, so we've written him out. Right. Yes, yeah, so... <laughs> You. Hey, missus, what are you on about? Where are you going? What, you haven't heard? What? Oh, um, nothing, actually. Um, <clears throat> Declan, word in private. Hmm? Look, Smile, look sorry. at this, What's look! <gasps> My goodness, I don't believe it. Vanessa's had a haircut? No! <laughs> look at that story! This story! Someone's gonna shoot Ant! <laughs> in EastEnders. But how do they know Anne's going to get shot? Well, they must have seen the script, haven't they? Oh, this is awful. Hey, what's going on over there? Oh, not nothing, Ant, but you might want to come away from the window. Why? I'm going to catch your death, won't you? Yes. I mean, I've got a cold. Yeah, yeah you might catch a cold, mightn't you? So, so who shoots him then? <clears throat> well, there's a list of suspects here. First one is you. Me? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to shoot him. I don't want to kill him, do I? Dad! Yeah? I was hiding in your favourite two Army box briefs there. I'm afraid I burnt a hole in the back. <laughs> That's right, aren't it? Not as if I was wearing them, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Put me back on the list, I'll kill him. No, yes. <laughs> and second on the list is me. But you don't want to shoot him, do you? No, I don't. Guys, I couldn't find the cloth to clean the toilet, so I used your toothbrush instead. <laughs> That's a really, really good idea. Now the roll will smell winter. OK, so you and me both want to kill him. <clears throat> Who else is on the list? Well, the other suspects are Tamsin Outhway and Caprice. But why would they want to kill him? Well, Caprice wants to kill him because he lied to her about having his baby. And Tamsin wants to kill him, well, because he's been sending her photos of himself in the bath. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, um, that was me, actually. <laughs> oh, Declan. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter because neither of them are here, so it's fine. Get it out. No, Ant, stay away from the door. What? It could be your murderer. What? I mean, your mum. It could be your mum. <laughs> and you know your mum doesn't like you answering the door of the flat. Ah, oh, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Ah, oh, my dear old mum. I do love her, even though she's nutty as a fruit bat. <laughs> I'd like to point out now that I'm talking about my mum on screen and not my real mum. My real mum is nutty as a fruit salad. <laughs> I'll get it. It's Caprice and Tamsin Elthwaite. Yeah. Yeah. We thought we'd pop in. Pop in? Yeah. Me pop in so you can knock off my best friend. Well, I don't oh. think so, you pair, because you'll have to get past me first. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Miss me! <laughs> oh, me <that's> <laughs> <laughs> and this is Camden. Oh, hiya, hiya. Hey. Have we uh, met before? Uh, no, I don't think so, because I've just got out of prison. Oh, really? What were we in for? I shot someone. Did you shoot Phil in the standards? Ah, uh, sorry, you know I'm not allowed to tell you that. <sighs> so I reckon it's Steve anyway. And you stay away from them. Stay away from them. They hate to shoot you. Look, why is everybody going on about people wanting to shoot me all can, of a can, sudden? Show them the paper. Show them the paper. Yeah? Yeah. yeah? Oh, no. Oh, I, I, I don't believe it. <laughs> Vanessa's got a new haircut. Not that story! <laughs> All right, this one. Who's going to shoot Ant? Hey, he looks like me. <laughs> right, I think that you two had better leave. Oh, no, wait a minute. This is stupid. We don't want to kill Ant. Actually, I do. I mean, he pretended to be, he pretended to be pregnant and tricked me into marrying him. <sighs> OK, so Caprice does want to kill Ant, but she wouldn't, would you? No, I guess not. But I might want to hurt him a bit, but I wouldn't kill him. Well, that's, that's fine. I mean, so if us four aren't going to kill him, who is going to kill him? You can knock any time you like. <laughs> I'll get it. <laughs> it's the pumps! Pumps <laughs> out, everybody! <laughs> Good morning. Good pumps morning. celebrity security. Ooh. Someone called us? Who called you? I did! Come over here and protect me! Can we help you, sir? Well, you can start by getting your hand off me bottom. Oh, sorry. I was just frisking you for weapons. Did you find anything? Yeah, but it was harmless. I... <laughs> <laughs> right, you four, stay exactly where you are. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Anne wasn't in any danger till you lot got here. Yeah, and there wasn't even a gun in here. No. Yeah, don't, don't you see? That must be the murder weapon. 
Step aside, ladies. Come on, son. I don't think so. Give me the gun. Give me the gun. No. Give me the gun. No. Give me the gun. No. Give me the gun. Give me the gun. Give me the gun. Oh, sorry, you missed me. Oh, you didn't miss me? Dick, it was you all along. No, it was an accident. Actually, I think I might be all right. What a senseless waste of human life. I can't believe it! Uh, I've shot my own friend! Uh, my one true friend uh, in the whole world! Uh, How can life be so cruel? Uh, actually, I think I'm all right, you know. Uh, <laughs> taken from us uh, in the prime of his life. Uh, Goodbye, old friend. Uh, Goodbye? Uh, <laughs> actually, is there anything I can do for you to make your last moments here on Earth a bit easier? Actually, yes. I've got a... I've got an itch. Could you scratch me? Not a chance, no. Oh. <laughs> well, then, I've just got to say... Uh-oh. Oh! He's gone. <laughs> so... So, if you didn't come round to shoot Ant, then why were you here? Um, cos I needed somewhere to live, and Caprice said you might have a spare room. Oh, right. Well, well, we didn't, but we do now. Deck, is it all right if Tamsin moves in? Are you kidding? It's fantastic! <laughs> Give me a few moments to kick Ant's stuff out in the street and you can move in. What do you say? Yeah, cool. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Actually, actually, I've been shot four times and I feel <laughs> remarkably fine. What? 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 That, just, 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 just hang on a second. If we're all going to do it, it's going to take forever. <sighs> Let's all just do it together. One, two, three. What? what? That's better. What's wrong with this gun, then? Um, I put blanks in it. <gasps> oh! oh. So the thought of me in the paper was just of me thinking I was dead. Oh, oh thank goodness for that. Oh. I'm still alive, and there were blanks all along. Oh. Oh. Isn't that great, isn't it? Look. <laughs> 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 As I was saying, uh, I put four blanks in the gun. The rest of them were real. Tamsin! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Has Tamsin been shot? Will that go to prison? And will Tamsin tell us who shot Phil in East I'm sorry, you know, I'm really not allowed to tell you that. Oh, <laughs> find out next week on Chums! Hi there, and welcome to Animals That Are Knacky In A Fight, the wildest nature show on television. Except it's not, is it? It's, it's just absolutely rubbish. But bear with me, because it's a great way to introduce the greatest episode of Chums ever. So, please welcome uh, Mr Crocodile Hunter himself, Steve Dunnybreath. Ah, mate! Ah! A dingo's got me! A dingo's got me, man! I'm mad of fine on my side! Ah! Ah, it's got me! Get off! Ah! Ah! All right oh. there, Steve? No, mate. Beat me face clean off. Like you survive. Yes, of course you are, Steve. Of course you are. What you got for me, mate? Hey? Wrestle a croc? Hey, hey, hey? Box with a kangaroo? Or do you want me to rough up some guinea pigs in a dark alley? What you got, mate? No, Steve, I actually just wanted you to come on and look like a big idiot. Come again, mate? Well, you see, the, the, the next section is the legendary Big Idiot episode of Chums, so I just thought, you know, from one big idiot to another, you know, it's a, a continuity gag, it's very funny. But, but mate, uh, I've come all the way from Australia, mate. Bought pterodactyl. Mm. In fact, the pterodactyl got me off the bush, dragged my face along, I might have fired my moustache, and see, then I it nearly killed me. I don't care, Steve. You know, I really, really don't care, you know, because you've come on here for weeks you know, claiming that you've got wild animals that would knack people in fights, you know, and that you're going to fight them for us, Steve, you know? And it's always just a lie. You know, it's a lie, you know? And I've brought you here today to teach you, teach you a lesson. Deck, mate, look! Look, mate, a bear with a roll-up newspaper, oh. mate. <laughs> yeah? Get out. No, Get well, on. a wolf! A wolf, mate, with a cheese grinder. Oh, a cheese grinder, yeah, mate. Comes, final, mate. Final mistake. Get out! I might. Might look. A lion with a handbag. <laughs> Mate. Get out of here, you son! You big idiot! You're nothing but a big idiot! <laughs> Here's Chums featuring Big Idiot. Enjoy! <laughs> you 
It's so wrong. You are so wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> You're just too stupid to admit it. Shut up. 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 It's day seven in the big idiot house and tension is brewing. The mayors, Anthony and Declan, are arguing over the silliest of things. How can, how can, how can you even think it? You uneducated half-wit. Look, I don't think it. I know it's your fool. Oh, for goodness sake, I'll settle this, fool. OK? Ant says red, Declan says yellow. You are, in fact, both wrong. It's green. Dipsy is green. Oh. Look. <laughs> All right. It's time for the first task of the day, and the big idiot contestants must work out together how to make a cup of tea. OK, um, I reckon we can all do this if, if we all work together as a team. <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. Teamwork and, and, and mutual understanding. Okay. Teamwork, mutual understanding and equality. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. And me's the leader. No, I'm what? the leader. No, I am. No, I'm the leader. All right, right, we'll all be leaders. I'll, I'll be water leader. I'll be tea leader. I'll be milk and sugar leader. Right, OK. Ready? Ready? Yes. Go! <laughs> come on, come on! We can do it, come on! Come on! Sorted. <laughs> hey. That's all, well done, mate. Love you, babe. Love you, babe. Well, Love you, babe. Well, this well, is Big Idiot. Cat well, Deeney, please report to the diary room. Oh, 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 oh. Shut up. Oh, oh. Shut up. <laughs> As it's eviction day, each Big Idiot must go to the diary room to vote which contender he or she would like to be evicted next. Hello, Big Idiot. Chad, how do you think things are going in the Big Idiot house? Well, um, I don't think the boys... Are, are, you know, I, I don't think Ant and Deck are coping well with it at all. Um, I mean, they just end up fighting over the silliest little things. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> Thomas the Tank Engine's green! He's blue! Oh, He's blue! Sit down! He's sit down! Blue, like. Sit down! And uh, I also don't think that... They can really handle the tasks, to be honest. Why do you say that? Well, uh, take for instance yesterday, they, they, they had to make a salad as a task and uh, they nearly burnt the house down. I mean, because they were frying it and everybody knows that salad's supposed to be grilled. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you choose to be the next person evicted? Uh, I choose Ant. Definitely, definitely. I mean, he's not, he's not the most annoying person in the world. <laughs> but he's pretty darn close. <laughs> Thank you. Get out now in the style of a big bear. Thank you, big idiot. <laughs> It's now time for the second task of the day. The big idiots must watch an entire episode of Big Idiot. <laughs> this is boring. They're just sitting on a sofa. No, no, hang on a second. Hold on. The camp one just said something. What, what, what did he say? He said, this is boring. We're just sitting on a sofa. And then the common girl said, what did he just say? <laughs> Light bulb held uh, off there, repeating everything everybody says. Oh, <laughs> well, do something, you boring idiot. What, what, what did the common girl say there? Ah, she said, we'll do something, you boring idiots. Oh, oh lighthead man's just repeating <laughs> everything this. Hey! Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> it does look like... <laughs> oh! Oh! Lighthead man! <laughs> they have failed to watch an episode of their own programme. Can Ant McPartland please oh. report to the diary room? Oh. 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 Hey. Bye bye! Bye bye! <laughs> it seems that a bond has grown between Deck and Cat. While Ant is away, Deck has another attempt at a sofa kiss with Cat. Can they do it without a snog interruption? Me and Cat all alone in the big idiot house. <laughs> I feel as though I've got a kiss her. So far, so good. <laughs> it's Duffin and Duck! Hi, Duffin and Duck! How much do I love you? Do I love you?
Have you one duck egg? No! Two duck eggs? No! Three duck eggs? No! No! I love you more than that dust in the duck! <laughs> oh, duck. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> deck. I vote deck. Uh, it's not personal. I, I, I love the little guy. In fact, <laughs> the, the, the last seven days has made us realise uh, how close I've really come. To killing him. <laughs> Why are spending seven days with Deck in the big idiot house any different to spending the last couple of years with him in the Chums flat? Oh, it's totally different. I mean, in the Chums flat, we, we don't have to share a bed. You don't have to hear either. <laughs> don't we? The little sicko! <laughs> Get out now in the style of a posh horse. Thanks, Big Idiot. It seems the relationship between Deck and Cat has had an end over a silly argument about the colour of Rupert Bear's scarf. It's brown and white checks, you imbecile! Yellow, 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 yellow! Time for the final task of the day. They are each given a pile of ordinary household junk from which they must construct a fully working scale model of a moped. <laughs> this is Big Idiot. Can Declan Donnelly please report to the diary room? Ah. Just lay it down. Mm. Sure, they just mm. do it when you lie down. Mm. <laughs> Hiya, big idiot. Declan, uh, who uh -huh. do you want to vote out of the big idiot house? Um, aunt, 100% aunt. But isn't he your oldest friend? No, I know somebody older, Jerry Halliwell, at least 34. <laughs> yeah. Plus, Kat said she'd uh, show us a bra if I gang up on aunt. <laughs> so, you know, friendship counts for nothing when there's a chance to see a lady's sprout pouch. <laughs> With the tasks. The tasks? The tasks are stupid. I mean, how can anybody make a moped out of some old pizza boxes and pot noodle cartons? <laughs> it sounds like someone's done it, though. Yeah, not very well, though. That, that takeover sounds very erratic to me. <laughs> Get out, please, in the style of a very camp chimp. <laughs> You're the boss. Cheers, big idiot. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Who goes, you decide. Will you vote Ant out? Remember how arrogant he was on day one, walking around naked asking people to play hoopla with him? How about voting for Deck? He really made a fool out of himself on day two when he threatened to flush himself down the toilet unless everybody stopped shouting at him. Or you may want to vote for Kat to go. She's the daft one who was given the task of washing the dishes and brought them all in the tumble dryer. But if, like me, you're sick of this bunch of ridiculous buffoons and would rather watch an empty flat for the next four weeks, choose option four. Lines will remain open for five hours, starting five hours ago. Big idiot contestants, the votes are now in and a decision has been reached. The next person to leave the big idiot house yeah, will be... <laughs> come on. There's absolutely no need for that long dramatic pause now, is there? Yes, come on, get on with it. The person to leave will be... No, oh, come on, you're just doing it for attention. Just tell us who's voted out. <laughs> I'm not telling you if you shout. <laughs> You did say sorry. No, oh, I'm sorry. Are you happy now? <laughs> OK. The person who has been voted out <laughs> is... Tell us! The person to go is none other than... Freeze frame! Oh. <laughs> who will be 
evicted from the big idiot house. Find out in the next thrilling instalment of Chums. <laughs> Now, our next section is a collection of instances when everything goes crazily wrong live on air. Take a look at these. <laughs> Shit. What? Yeah. Should we stop there? Yeah, OK. Deck, <clears throat> the word is clips. Let's take a look at these clips. Yes, that's what I said, isn't it? I said that. That's no, the word no, I said. no, I said no, clips. you didn't. You just burst into Westlife song. I don't think I did. I think I find I think you'll find I said clips. I think yes, you, know, you that's did. What, I think you, that's did, you did. You, you did. Did I? Mm -hmm. Yes. Did I? Oh, sorry about that. Sorry, sorry about that. Can we, can we do it again? <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> I'll get it right this time. <clears throat> now our next section is a collection of instances when everything goes crazily wrong live on air. Take a look at these. <laughs> Declan, you did it again. That was word perfect that no, time. You I did it again. Not again. You should have said the word clips. But then you started singing, man. No, I, 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 I... Declan, you just sang. Right, if you, if, if, if you think I did, then I'm prepared to do it you, again. You did. Should we do it again? Yes, yes, sure, yes okay. well, we'll have to do Sorry it again. Sorry about this, everybody. Mm. Sorry. Not normally like this. Can we do it again? Mm -hmm. Do it again. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> Now our next section is a collection of instances when everything goes crazily wrong live on air. Let's take a look at these. Clips. There. Happy? I think I prefer the singing, actually, do you? Yeah, I agree. I I prefer prefer you dirty pair of... Oh. Uh, thanks very much. Ladies up. Now it's time for my Sabrina poem of the week. <clears throat> Uh, sorry, you've got to stop me there, my friend. <laughs> Why uh, because that? I'm afraid you can't do a poem this week because Sabrina's lawyers have, uh, where are we? Sabrina's lawyers have been back on again. You're joking us. Yeah, uh, yeah. So uh, I can't, what can't I write about at this time? What part of my body? Just a couple of things. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> like the sellotape's still on it. All right, all right, okay. Just a couple of things. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Look in the head, see? <laughs> <laughs> Just a couple of things, though. No, come on. Doesn't does does mention that chin. <laughs> <laughs> does it mention a gin? Yes, it does, yes. Does it, yes, it does. <laughs> does it mention our angles? Uh, hold on, I'll just check what you're there. You thought you were still rehearsing? I did! <laughs> 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 no, 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 seriously, I'll be honest. This is on, but OK. No. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was out in the back thinking of things. Does what were you doing, Jaskers? Does it mention our ankles, I said? Uh, just look what you're there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yes, it does, it does, it does, it does. <laughs> does, it, does, it mention that, does it mention our sick dragon, you know, that dangly bit at the back of our throat? Uh, I'll, I'll that? just have a look there. <laughs> Don't think it does. No, it doesn't, It doesn't try, I am triumphant. Hey, I'm triumphant. <laughs> <laughs> When we were top London Valley, right, you and really won't have to swear that we'll both wear the same colour tutu, right? Swear. Agreed. Agreed. Check it out for game three, FIFA 2001. What is the capital of Turkey? Huh? Um, um, Istanbul? Uh, no? It's five, three! <laughs> sure. Oh. <laughs> Alex is in fits of laughter behind the camera there. It's Ankara. Is it? Apparently. Question, I wouldn't have got that. Uh, Ankara, I'm reliably... <laughs> 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 uh, Ankara. Yeah, nice on deck. Be cool. Nobody noticed. Move on. <laughs> There's nobody. <laughs> Our job is to raise the spirits of the sick and injured. Those poor melancholic souls <laughs> that are all alone, all alone, out there, in a world of discomfort. And <laughs> 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 with no one to look at them. <laughs> Away from their loved ones and relatives with only us to give. Oh, <laughs> 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 to their courage. This bloke dies, right? <laughs> Declan! It's time for our Starguest interview! Starguest interview! <laughs> oh, yes. And who is your Starguest for the interview this week? <laughs> 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 Isn't it? 
It was a local man who collects crisp packets or, or a small boy who, who's got a pet snail. I'll tell you what, I'm so not having local people on my show when I'm a top DJ. I'll tell you, I'm just having fit lasses on. Yeah. Well, actually, our next guest is a really, really famous film actress. She is. You what? Yeah, she is throughout the National Countryside Awareness Scheme. <laughs> it's me. Welcome before us, the awesome part of the farmer. Yes, I'm the biggest, baddest farmer in the whole world. I can't be knocked down. I can't be held. People come near me, they walk away. Mine's grass because I stink. But I'll be cleaning up tonight when I win the Whiff Blast Wrestling International Federation Championship. Get off my land! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're coming a lightweight contest. And couldn't you do anything? <laughs> <laughs> couldn't you do anything? <laughs> <laughs> couldn't you do anything? <laughs> it's, it's Brian May. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't I do any better than, than this? the farmer. Well, hey, it's not very short business, and you brought the camera and everything. <laughs> Price check, Sandra. <laughs> nearly, nearly. <laughs> Try to be rougher. Okay. Price check. <laughs> Sandra. I, I, I can see that thong you're wearing. What? Well, what about me? What underwear am I wearing? <laughs> it's a comfort thing. <laughs> well, well, let's have a look, then. Let's have a look at your underwear. Hey, no, you do not, mister. Claire, what's your name again? This is Cat. Oh, oh, oh. As I was saying... Yes? Yes? Oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> as I was saying, I've got one here. It says, uh, Dear Aunt and Cat, as long as I can remember, my dad has done eggy pumps. He started, <laughs> the, he started to catch them in his hand and throw them in my face as a joke. Ah! What a class dad! Well, no, 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 but just recently, he's. <laughs> smell out in their face. <laughs> That's how so we got done. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> that is uh... brilliant. Ah, oh, there you are. Well, our little celebration draws to a close, and what have we learned from this retrospective look at SMTV? Well, according to your letters, it's mainly the refinement of the humorous ideal that SMTV brings you every Saturday morning. I mean, take this letter, for example. It says, Dear Aunt Cat, where other shows would dumb down their scripts or use tired old comedic cliches such as glove puppets, you have delivered a fine feast of sophisticated comedy. Thank you very much for your letter. That's very nice. Mm. Now, I've got a letter here <clears throat> which says, uh, Dear Aunt Tech and Cat, your show is clever and brilliant. Well, thanks for that, but I, I can't, can't read who it's from, can you? It's from uh, I.P. Freely. I.P. Freely in the bog. Must be an Irish town. <laughs> I've, got, <clears throat> I've got a letter here and it says, uh, Dear Aunt Tech and Cat, thanks for not resorting to childish names on your show and for... Oh. No, I, I can't read that name either. I'm sorry. No, exactly. It's from I smell from not washing. Thank you very much for your letter. <laughs> you for it? Oh, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. I smell from not washing and I pee freely in the bog. That's that's you two, isn't it? That's really, really grown up. You stupid little idiots. You've written these just to make me look stupid, haven't you? We haven't. No. Well, we who has then? We, we didn't do it. No, we didn't. But but we know who did. Who? It was me, Morag McSock, the cheeky sock. And me, Hamish McSock, the cheeky sock's brother. Let's sing the SMTV sock song. Yes. We are the socks, the cheeky socks, cheeky cheeky socks, cheeky cheeky socks. We are the socks, the cheeky socks, cheeky 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 socks. Would you care to do that again? Oh, and oh. 
Oh. Laddie, I'd love to. Hit it! We love the socks and cheeky socks. Cheeky, cheeky socks. Cheeky, cheeky socks. We are the socks and cheeky socks. Cheeky, 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 cheeky socks. Ah! Oh, yeah! Oh, You two? You two? Oh, my God. I'm getting out of here. Get away from me. Get away. I don't want to be filmed. Get away. I didn't do anything. Nobody saw anything. You can't prove anything. Honestly, get away from me. You can't prove anything. Muppet, get out! Airport, get out!